Hey homeschoolers, it's just Larry checking in. Day two of a three day thing over at Blackbird. I wanted to show you some changes I made to the cartridge rig here, just for all you gear nerds. If you don't care about gear, then go watch something else. But, uh, you know, for a long time I've been using just my, my pedal board and this the deluxe reverb that I've got in, a, in the hallway down there. But I get tired of not having some marshals around in the session, so I brought out this new rack here. Um, got a couple old plexis in here. And this nice rack that I found. And uh, the, the, of course, the Everb and Space Echo. There's a 100 right there, and there's a 50 down there. I've been using this 50 today, and it sounds fucking great. Playing it through this, like, silver Jubilee Marshall cabinet, 212. There's the pedal board, probably haven't seen it in a while. This is the same one that was in that rig rundown video I did ages ago. Pretty much unchanged from there. But that's fun. And uh, here's the guitar we've been using so far. The old multi-bender, Harmony Stratotone. My other Sin Strat, which I love. The one that I had made to look like Jeff Beck's from that 1975 German show that I love to watch on YouTube with the cut pick guard. I think that's kind of cool, right? Here's my old 54 Esquire, nice and lightweight. That's a cool guitar. But we're having a good time today. Uh, we got a special guest sitting in with us, the legendary uh, Danny Dugmore. Uh, thanks for all the kind of words about the interview with Brian. He's still with us today. Isn't he, isn't he amazing? This is Danny's. Danny Steele and his rig. He uses an e-verb, too, and an analog man, king of the tone. But Danny played uh, with Linda Ronstadt and James Taylor all those years. He played that legendary steel solo on Blue Bayou, Linda Ronstadt. There's Brian again. Hi, Brian. Hi. I was just you. telling us about, about our special guest, uh, Danny Dugmore. How Damn. special is it to play with him? Um, you and I have both been around great vocalists that, like, when they sing, yes. you know what to do. Yes. When you're on a track with Dan, it's like a great vocal. I know it. It's just How does he do that? I don't know. And uh, that thing, when he, that raunchy thing he does when he picks up an electric guitar and plays through that Tweed Deluxe is so rock Or when roll. he picks up uh, J200. Yeah, man. And I was thinking about him on that first track just because, you know, yeah. that there's a version of strumming that I do that's like probably on top. Compared to him, that's just like it's very lazy. Yeah, it's the gush, the the U part of the yeah. of the gush yes. drags out. What do we got for lunch today in there? I noticed they brought in some lunch. It's the Mediterranean stylings. Nice. You like that? Uh, you know. Yeah. Did I you... will never turn away catering. <laughs> they one, liked one, your video one, yesterday. The kids, they said nice things. One. Oh, that was fun. Thank that you. That's fun. Yeah. What's the question I forgot to ask you? <laughs> What's the meaning of life? What's your favorite alcoholic drink? Like, I'm having a Modelo today, which is kind of weird. For um, me. You know... You're a Jameson guy, right? I have, yeah, over the years. And, you know, there, I'll get into the cocktails. The Boulevardier is one that I like because... I've never it kind even of, heard of this. It define, well, again, it defines okay. the level of... <laughs> it says a lot about you. <laughs> you lowbrow. Me and my beer gut. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, you know, I'm equal opportunity, but I yeah. do like these sort of craft cocktails. Yeah. I'm a fan of the IPA. Colorado, yeah. a summer in Colorado yeah. with an IPA yeah. is pretty good. You've had a YouTube channel for a long time. No. And, and, well, you're, you put up, you got that online course. Yeah, There's our, Dan Dugmore right there. there hey, Dan. <laughs> the we were just talking about what a badass you are. Oh, we were, dude. Oh. How, did you, how do you do it? How do you do it, Danny? Have you always sounded the way that you play? That's the thing. It's like when you play the steel, as our great musicians in the world inclined to do, when you hear them play one note, you know it's who it is. And you're that way. Yeah. You always sounded that way to you. I think so, yeah. Yes. It's always been here. Yes. So do you do you think this pedal steel in this day and age is a dying art? Yeah. Yeah. Just like it's a, it's just there's no you know that Nobody's really play, playing country music like they used to play it. Yeah. There are a few younger cats, a lot of them up in like Brooklyn area. Mike Robinson is a guy that's up there 
great guitar player. He's gotten into that, and that was that was one of the good things about the whole mm -hmm. COVID thing is it, it took a lot of those people into that rabbit hole. Yeah, because you had nothing to do but learn steel guitar. Right, right. <laughs> do you ever watch any of those crazy guys that play all that like sacred steel and stuff, Danny? Yeah, I'm a... isn't that crazy that human voice stuff that they oh, do? Yeah, that's it's pretty crazy. cool. Yeah, but it's I mean that's that whole there's a whole thing. It's all that that. The, the, like the first guy that did it, he just said he was imitating the preacher, you know, the mm. preacher's going, Lord, Lord, and he'd go, woo, 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 yeah, right? man. And it was just, it became the gospel sort of a thing, trying to get that voice, yeah. you know, using the, instead of a wah-wah, you're using the, the, the uh, tone knob. Right. It's kind like of the, moving the that. three organ thing, too, you know, when they just go for those stabs. And, right. And yeah. It's emotional. Yeah, it's really good. Did you try lunch already? Yeah, I did. You, is it good? <laughs> Again, catering. I'll, I'll edit that part. <laughs> <laughs> One amazing thing about catering, no matter what it is. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll have to investigate for ourselves. Thanks for being on the Lord, on our pitiful show, boys. Uh, All right, then. Over and out.